at this alphanumeric set, lots of variables or alphabets used. Don't try to solve all of them. Most of the time in this type of problem, you cannot solve all of them. Too many informations are required. So now, what can I see if I go by the problem? First question is about A. So one thing I can see in the third step, or rather I would say it's the second step because W is zero because when this is going down, division is not possible. So two values going down, that is this W is actually zero. And then it is multiplied with eight. ABC a three digit number multiplied with eight giving another three digit number. So one thing for sure, ABC is less than 125. So A is definitely, definitely one. No doubt about it. Next. Already we discussed this, W is equal to zero. Because when this value is going down, division not possible. ABC is greater than APP. Then I is coming down. So not possible means one zero will go. One zero will go. So w is zero. D cannot be anything but. This is a three digit, four digit number. This is a three digit number. Difference is a two digit number. So D E E G is 1000 something. So D cannot be anything but 1000. A four digit number, sub three digit number subtracted from a four digit number gives you two digit number, means four digit number was in, have to be 1000 something. What about Y? Again, if I see Y coming after this step, and where J is coming down and division is not possible, so K had to come, also need to come down. So that means Y is zero. And already we discussed W is zero, so Y and W they are equal. So option D. Next problem. Value of Z. What we have in Z? Value of Z. Last value. ABC multiplied with Z giving a four digit number. When ABC multiplied with eight, still giving a four three digit number. So when multiplied by Z, four digit number means Z have to be nine. Z have to be nine. 